magnesium, obviously really important for muscle protein synthesis, helps your body to make ATP, and then also um, is going to basically support muscles because it's going to help with muscle relaxation. So obviously, in order for a muscle to contract, it must be completely, completely relaxed. So if a muscle cell is going to some sort of spasm or something like that and it can't relax completely, you won't be able to follow up with another contraction. Okay, so really important that our magnesium status is, is quite good. Just bear in mind that some drugs that people take, prescription drugs that people take like Nexium and things like that, really deplete um, magnesium stores as well as diuretics. And with diuretics, we're also looking at the depletion of potassium as well. So if you have somebody who is taking those sort of things, like you said, you take natural diuretics, which is great because most of them are potassium sparing. But for people who are using, you know, whatever they use prescription wise, um, you might find that their magnesium status is also, is also pretty low. I just like magnesium because it helps me sleep. What I just wanted to say to you is that one of the problems we have with having so much protein in our bodies is that we make huge amounts of homocysteine because homocysteine is a byproduct of protein metabolism. And if conditions are not optimal in our bodies, we are going to struggle to take that excess homocysteine, break it back down into methionine or further convert it into glutathione and other beneficial things that our bodies can use. So anybody who is on a high, high protein diet, and that includes your paleo people and your banting people as well, we really want to make sure that that breakdown of homocysteine is maximized. So you're looking at things like folate and methylcobalamin, which is B12, vitamin B6, as well as trimethylglycine from beetroot, which are really, really, really important for making sure that you're breaking down homocysteine efficiently. Because if you've got high homocysteine levels, you're more likely to have high cholesterol, you're more likely to have other heart diseases, as well as more inflammation in the brain. So it doesn't help if you look good, but your brain's totally like adult because unfortunately the inflammation actually caused Alzheimer's, okay? <laughs> you want to remember that you look good, in my opinion. <laughs> All that hard work for nothing? Are you kidding? Okay, so um, just, just bear that in mind. So, you know, if nothing else, when you sell somebody a way to go protein or you recommend somebody a way to go protein, please consider like a Megazorb or something like that to go with it because with that extra protein, because you must remember athletes take a huge amount of protein. We're looking at between um, for endurance athletes, 1.2 grams per kilogram per day to 1.4 uh, grams per kilogram a day, up to 2 grams for, for bodybuilders per kilogram per day. Might even be more, because I don't know what your, your personal requirements would be. You might find that you actually need more. So if you're looking at a 90 kilogram guy lifting weights, he might be on 180 grams of protein a day. That's a huge amount. So that's a lot of protein either way. And so you really need to help support that homocysteine breakdown in the body as well. Coenzyme Q10 is a huge problem because people take statins, okay? Your, your cholesterol-lowering lowering meds radically deplete CoQ10, so they're going to affect energy production. So if you've got an athlete who is on statins or something like that, you're going to even need more CoQ10 than, than is recommended, okay? Because their, their demands are just going to be so much higher. And it's simple because you can see... What is the side effect of taking too many statins or, or taking statins? Some people are more sensitive to it than others. Muscle fatigue, lack of energy. Okay, so those are huge. So we're talking about everything in the context of exercising, but you know, there's so many other dimensions to people. People aren't just athletes, they have other health concerns, all sorts of other things going on. 